Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another end of day business roundup. And I'm actually doing this one in the morning because the video I made yesterday I didn't like. So I'm just going to start over. This video is titled Microsoft Office, excuse me, Microsoft Outlook 2016 Problems. I already have another video out about all the problems I've had, but there are so ma so many. <laughs> so if you're on YouTube and you're already Googling this in YouTube and you see it, um, yeah, the problem I had was a very simple problem, but it's really happening to a lot of people. So um, the, the problem the client called in with was that he wanted to sync his Android phone with his Outlook. He's an old time Outlook user, like many years, 20 years or 15, 16 years at least. <laughs> and uh, he just wanted a simple, you know, calendar share. So he went to the Microsoft Business Premium, purchased the Essentials program, and I believe and paid the $4 a month, which should be an easy solution, right? And he was like, I can invest 50 bucks a year, whatever. Okay, so, but he couldn't get it to work. And he'd worked with Microsoft. They couldn't figure it out because of the Android thing. I don't know. Anyway, he said he watched my video on YouTube and wanted my help. So I was like, cool, let's do it. Well, I remote in and unfortunately, you know, I, w I looked at the system. I was like, okay, it's pretty simple. He's got a pop email. That's it. Nothing special. So in 2016 with pop, it should create a PST file. Okay. That's what it should do. But in 2016, just a tip, sometimes the OSTs and the PSTs look exactly alike and they don't have the little sync sometimes always on. So you can't tell, but anyway, so I was like, well, before we do any work, Let's back up your calendar and your contacts because I always back those two up when I deal with other products just as a backup. Well, then um, I couldn't, uh, I went to the control panel and I, and I closed Outlook. That's how you should do it. Close Outlook, go to the control panel, go to the mail icon, and in there, try to add the exchange account. And it would not add. And I verified that it was the right password and it would not add. And in Outlook 2016, there's no manual way to add the account anymore. Isn't that wonderful? Microsoft removed the only way to get through this clunky piece of software, <laughs> POS, uh, is by removing the one thing that could have made it all pleasant for me is to manually do it, which I do in 2013 if the exchange won't set up. So then I told the client, well, this is not going to end up well because we're going to have to contact Microsoft because he purchased 2016. Remember, there's a big difference. If you purchase 16, you purchase that. There is no downgrade. If you subscribe to Office 365, Home and Office, then you can downgrade to 2013. And I always install the 32-bit. Okay. Well, try to get to Microsoft. I don't know. They put me through six different channels of people. They would not remote in. They said they wouldn't even actually try. And I kind of thought that Microsoft was being a little bit better with trying to help people based upon what I've asked clients to call them in with, because I can fix the insides of Outlook like no problem. But if the software is causing a problem, I have the clients sometimes call Microsoft because, you know, they paid for that program. They should be supporting it. Well, anyway, after 30, 40 minutes of working with them, I was getting nowhere. I told the client, let's just try to work out something else because I'm kind of getting frustrated at this point. <laughs> so anyway, the client and I decided that let's just uh, work with another third party app. And with Android and Outlook, the third party app I like is G-Sync It. I will put a link to the other video I have out about G-Sync It in the bottom of these notes. And that took a little while to set up, configure, do some testing. Client liked it and they do give you a trial version and we bought it and got everything synced up and he's working happily now. And uh, this job was quite long in length and I just, you know, hate to tell people, but the 2016 is just really not ready for prime time yet, people. I mean, even when you think, oh, it's just an easy exchange setup, if it doesn't work, there's problems and um from the technicians i work with on online forums and groups they're like yeah it works great for me and i'm like well i don't know why i have problems but i tend to do break fix work so i don't know anything about the system when i remote in 
lot of these techs are on managed systems, so they already know all the bells and whistles and what works and what doesn't. But I don't know. I'm just giving you my two cents on the situation. 2016 is still not working great, so I don't recommend you buying it. I recommend you subscribe, downgrade, and just pay that little extra because 2013 just works great. All right, folks, that's my video today. Uh, Microsoft Outlook 2016 problems. There's a lot of them. Just be careful. Uh, if you um, want to uh, call me for some help, you can reach me at 612-865-4475. You can email me, lisa at callthatgirl.biz. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.